What's going on guys? Thomas from My Scent CIs. Today video will be on a fragrance haul from Joma's shop. So this will be my first impression and unboxing from the fragrance that I picked up at Joma's shop. So if you're interested in this video, stay tuned. We're going to dive right into it after the intro. <music> Alright guys, welcome back. For those that are returning, I appreciate you. For my new subscribers, welcome to the channel. On my channel, we discuss all things fragrance, whether they be fragrances from your online discounters or fragrances from your local rack stores. Your local rack stores are Burlington, Marshalls, TJ Maxx, or Ross. Because believe it or not, guys, you can find great quality fragrances at a good price at these locations. Okay guys, today's video will be on a fragrance haul that I ordered from Joma Shop. Joma Shop is an online discounter fragrance site where you can find good quality fragrances from designer, niche, uh, pretty much all varieties of fragrances at a good price. So if you never heard of Joma Shop, check them out. It's a good uh, online discounter website where I do a lot of my fragrances from. Okay guys, cause I be going over five, where I be unboxing five fragrances. I'm gonna move right into the video so we can see what these fragrances are smelling like. All right, so the first fragrance would be Roaches, man. And most of these fragrances are tester guys. Joma shop, you can order testers and you can save yourself anywhere from 10 to 15 dollars or sometimes five dollars uh eight dollars so you, you save yourself some money ordering the testers guys you know and this is one of them a lot of them come in like brown boxes or white boxes or whatnot some of them might not have caps you know so if you the type of person that wants your fragrance you know the the presentation solid you know with the cap then you know you might not want to order testers but guys you know i don't really care about if it doesn't have a cap or not i just care about the juice you know if i can save an extra ten dollars or fifteen dollars ordering a tester that's what i'm gonna do baby now this fragrance right here guys i heard that it was pretty good uh i think it's compared to like uh one of the bond number nines I forget which one it is uh but it's supposed to be like a sweet fragrance with some coffee notes and here's the presentation guys this is roaches man check out this bottle this is a unique bottle guys we go in your front kind of look like one of those uh i forget what they call them they got the little lights in it and with the, the uh, little liquid inside that bubbles up or whatnot. Uh, but this is most definitely a unique bottle. And I think this is an EDT concentration. Yes, an EDT, 100 mil, 3.3 fluid ounces, guys. I kind of smell it through the, the atomized thing, smell good. Atomized pretty good. Oh, this one right here is a banger, guys. The initial note, I can pick up that coffee, vanilla. This is gonna be a banger for winter. I think this is, you know, you might be able to pull this off during, during the, the warmer months. Maybe if you don't spray too much on. If you watch your sprays on this one, you probably can rock this one during summer, summer evening, you know. Maybe a night out or in a controlled environment or something. But this thing is banging. And it's projecting pretty good too, guys. But that's what I'm, I'm picking up the coffee note. Some vanilla, some light woods. Uh, yeah, this one's nice. Now 
Now on paper, I'm picking up like an alcohol glass of alcohol, but in the air, I'm picking it up. That's a good one, guys. Now, this scent profile, uh, one of the Michael Jordan fragrances. Uh, I forget the name of it. It's compared to this one to a sweet vanilla type of fragrance. The Michael Jordan fragrance, I don't think that one has the, the coffee note in it. I don't know if it's just like amber or vanilla, uh, some kind of sweet syrupy pancake. Uh, that's, that's just like the, the scent comparison a lot of people mention uh, with this fragrance. But this one is a banger, guys. If you don't have this one in your collection and you enjoy, uh, a sweet, slightly woozy, uh, coffee, uh, gourmand type of fragrance. Might want to add this one to your collection, guys. I think this one ran me, uh, if I'm not mistaken, twenty something dollars for a hundred mil. That's Roach's man. So we're gonna move to the next fragrance. We have Jimmy Choo Man Ice. Hear a lot of people say this one is uh, kind of put them in the mind of, of uh, lemonade or something like that. So I said, why not? People say the performance on these ain't too good. But for the summertime, can't go wrong with like a, a citrusy lemonade type of fragrance, huh? Check out the presentation though, guys. Slick bottle. You know, the white with the the chrome on it or whatnot with the gradient bottle. Nice cool looking bottle. Uh I'll check this out. Got the notes on the back, guys. I don't know if the camera pick it up. But it has the note detail on the back. Uh, and this is an EDT. 100 mil, 3.3 ounce. Let's read the notes. Top notes are cedret oil, bergamot. Heart notes are vetiver oil, patchouli oil. Base notes are musk and abroxan. So we got vetiver, patchouli, cedret, and bergamot. These citrusy. Smelling it from the atomizer guy. I'm picking up like some kind of. I don't know if it's like a menthol or something that almost come off like a conditioner type smell or something. Let's put it in there. Uh, atomizer on this one is excellent. They hit it right on the head with the lemonade type smell. The citrus is most definitely, it's a blast of citrus. Most definitely kind of puts you in, a, in the mind of a lemon, some kind of lemon. Won't so much say a lemonade. It's 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 another lit note that I'm detecting in the air too. Beyond a citrus. Mm. Might be the vetiver. 
don't know what kind of vetiver this is. But overall, it's, it smells like a fresh, citrusy fragrance. I think this one is going to be a banger, you know, in high, high heat. Yeah, this is something I'll be looking forward to rocking, guys. And it's Jimmy Choo Man Ice. So if you enjoy citrus, fresh, uh, I don't know what this, this uh, it might be the vetiver. I don't know re what really kind of vetiver this is that I'm picking up. You know, as far as what kind of class classification it fall into. But overall, the, the scent profile is, is great, I think. Now we just got to see what the performance is like on this fragrance, you know. That's one of the things people complain about, the performance on this fragrance. And you know, everybody's skin chemistry is different. Just because you get three hours out of a fragrance doesn't mean that's what I, I experience with it. I might get six or seven hours out of it. So guys, a lot of times, you know, I say consider uh, some of the opinions people mention about fragrances and the, the performance because everybody skin chemistry is different you know that's something to consider but don't let that ultimately uh, determine if you're gonna try it or not because you can get eight hours out of the phrase when somebody else is getting three hours out of it but as more as I smell this one in the air guys this one I think this one is really going to perform well in high heat. All right, guys, next fragrance we're going to unbox is from Carolina Herrera. We have Cheek for Men. Cheek for Men. Now, I don't really know what this one is it's cloning, or if it's cloning anything. I just seen a lot of people say that it was a good fragrance. Check out the bottle. Got the black stem inside of it. You no know, classic looking bottle. Right, check out the sprayer. The top. It's a wide top. I like the bottle. Got the Carolina Herrera, New York at the bottom. And if I'm not mistaken, guys, this is an EDT. That Jimmy Choo Man is smelling real great in the air, guys. Uh, yes, this is an EDT. 100 mil, 3.4 ounce. See what this one hit is like. Atomize on this was okay. The air is blowing this one right back. It yeah, is one like a straight shooter. No, this was supposed to have a watermelon note in it. Uh, kind of sweet, floral. Hmm. I can most definitely pick up the watermelon. It's kind of like a the watermelon note. Slightly uh, fruity, slightly herbal, floral. I think this one has jasmine in it too as well. It's the floral note I'm picking up. Top note is watermelon. I think it has bergamot. It's coming off almost kind of a fresh fragrance. Fresh, kind of uh, 
fruit leaf, uh, fruity, floral, kind of herbaceous, slightly woody. I think this one has a lot of notes in it, guys. Cause so this fragrance right here, this one is going to go through some transition. But overall, the scent profile, I'm enjoying it. This is another one I think that you you might be able to rock this one year round. Most definitely spring, summer, fall. Might even be able to rock it during the winter. Performance on the strip. This one smell like it's gonna to perform too. But we most definitely is see. And it, I'm enjoying the scent profile, guys. You know, if you if y'all haven't tried any of the fragrances that I have just open, get in the comment, guys, and let us know what y'all think of them. If I'm not mistaken, I think this cheek for me, uh, this one might be like an older fragrance. I can't remember if it came out like in the late 90s or maybe the early 2000s. I can't remember. But looking at the bottle, you know, kind of reminds me of uh, Dior. And it kind of almost, the, the scent profile is, is kind of almost uh, close with some slight differences uh, to 212 Man. I think that one smells a little more uh, like almost a grassy, uh, like almost a grassy note or something in it. This one right here is a little more fresh and and a little more uh, sweeter. It's coming off, but it most definitely smells good, guys. Okay, we're gonna move on to the next fragrance. We got another one from the house of Rochas. We have El Home. Rochas El Home. Now I think this one, people, a lot of people say this one a good fragrance too. Is the presentation. Bottle feel heavy. Let's see if the cap is on there. clicks into place and this one is also uh, uh, EDT 100 mil uh, I think I spent 20 something on this one too most of these fragrance ran me 20 something dollar guys if the last one I think that one was uh, 30 39 might be 29 it was either 30 or 40 dollars guys but back to the air home roaches mm. okay this one kind of smells a little minty or something from the atomizer let's give it a spray atomizer on this one is decent Air is kind of blowing, blowing the fragrance back, guys, when I smell it, when I spray it. But in the air, it smells good. Mm. This one smells well around it, guys. I was definitely picking up some kind of. Smell like almost a menthol. And I'm almost picking up some kind of sweet undertone too. I don't know if this one has vanilla in it. <sighs> Pull up the notes on this one. I kind of try to stray away on the notes with the first impression and unboxing. Just try to see if I can detect smelling 
Okay, yeah, picking up some some sweetness. Ah, this one got pineapple in it. I don't know if this the pineapple I'm picking up or not. But the top notes on this one, guys, is blood orange, pineapple, cardamom, middle notes of juniper berry, geranium, and basil. I think I'm picking up that basil. Might be where that, that menthol is coming, that benthol smell. Base note is tonka bean, patchouli, and moss. Doesn't have vanilla in it, but it it gives me maybe that's from the tonka bean, the vanilla scent that I'm, the, the sweetness that I'm picking up. Mmm, now it's the might be the juniper berry. Say it like a piney nuance. And that's, 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 come think of it, that's what it, what it smells like. Kind of came off like menthol-ish. But that's what it is, it's the piney smell. But this one's just like a, this grown man scent right here. Smell like something you can, you can dress up or dress down. You know, I think you'll be able to rock this formal. You know, how you can just dress it down. This one will kind of suit in the occasion too. I think this would be a year-round fragrance. You got a little weight with it. Kind of reminds me of the Latafa uh, uh, Rai. The blue one. It kind of uh, smells like a Dos and Gabbana cake. That's what it kind of reminds me of. With a little more sweetness under it. And this will smell like it's gonna to perform too, guys. And this is from the house of roaches. We have Air Home. Alright, guys, we'll get down to this last fragrance. We have from the house of Mercedes Benz. Mercedes Benz Club. Now I've been wanting to try this one out, guys, but this one been been up there like 49. $52 and you know some people say back back I don't know when but this fragrance used to rain like just $25 $30 and if I'm mistaken I think this one ended up running me I don't know if it's I think it was $29.99 you know what I'm gonna tell you right now Oh, it went up, guys. This one's saying $49.99 now. Yeah, so this one it might have been $39.99 or $29.99. Let me see if I can pull up some. Sean, I paid forty eight seventy seven. Hmm. Thought I got cheaper than that. 
But anyway, I guess I was mistaken. All right, check out the bottle, guys. This is slick. And let's see. This is an EDT, 100 mil. Check out the spray back down the back. Decent atomite. Mmm. It's a sweet one right here, guy. If you don't like a sweet, like amber, vanilla, almost kind of put me in the mind of of Angel Share without the booziness. Just the type of sweetness, yeah. Ah, uh, this one's gonna be a banger in the in the winter, cooler months. You might be able to pull this one off in the in the in the evening during the summer, but this one smells good, guys. Mmm. And it got some weight in the air. I enjoy sweet fragrances. I know there's some guys out there don't really care for them, but I do. Even on a on the strip, guys, this one's hidden. I don't pick up no alcohol, just straight sweetness. I don't know if it have any woods in it. Let's see if this one has any woods in it. Mm. Yeah, this one smell, this one hidden. Got incense, there's a little smokiness. Top note is bergamot, middle notes is incense, jasmine, base notes is vanilla, benzoin, woodsy notes, and a broxin. So it does have a little woodsiness and a little slight smokiness to it. Oh yeah, this one is up my alley, guy. Uh, so the 40, $48 I paid for it, it was worth it. So I see why this one is still sitting sitting up there then at that price. For some reason I thought it was I got it a little cheaper. That was $39.99. Maybe the different prices reflect. But anyway, guys, these are the fragrance that I purchased from German Shop. Uh and overall. I'm satisfied with what I got. Like I say, guys, if y'all had these fragrances in your collection, uh, let us know in the comments uh, what you think of. Do you enjoy them? And, and, and would you suggest these fragrances? All the fragrances that I just unboxed, I most definitely would suggest if you enjoy that scent profile. But overall, I'm enjoying them. So. Now the Mercedes Benz, uh, this one, the the weight that this one has, this one will be perfect for winter. So this one right here, when the, when the weather change, I will be rocking, and I most definitely do an update on that one. But the rest of the ones, uh, the Roaches Man, this one is also a, a cooler weather fragrance. So those two probably rocking when the weather changed but the other three I'll most definitely be doing an update letting you guys know what the performance is uh, projection all of that I'll be doing an update so I'm gonna wrap this video up guys I appreciate y'all checking out the content please remember to like subscribe hit that share button